So, here we go. I'm trying to get these gardening video vlogs on the go there. We've got a kennel there for Bella. Where's Bella? There's Bella somewhere. There she is, yeah. Uh, sniffing and obsessed with everything as usual, but she's got a new kennel which she's not going in at the moment. But I'm going to take you around the back of Sparrow's Roost. Come in with me, Bella. Great. As you can see, I've actually tried to prepare a couple of little borders there. I've got it's work in progress, but the one that I did on the shorts video is actually got onions and potatoes in there. And hopefully, aha, there we have some onions coming up. How cool is that? I can honestly say I'm not responsible for them though. My wife and she's put them in. Uh, there's a little bit of a junk corner there. These are things that I'm gonna try and get tidied up and you can watch this progress throughout summer. There's the football net where I've scored many a cup winning final penalty. Um, a little bit of the, the garden, summer house, but I'm just gonna take you into my new little domain that I've kind of claimed. The old rickety, the old rickety, um, what you call these things? Greenhouse, even though it's not even green. And uh, I've decided to put, don't worry, I don't drink wine while I'm in there, that's for the slugs evidently. But if you look there at the back, we've got some green beans coming up, broad beans. Tray of radishes, which I planted probably about two weeks ago. I'm really pleased with how all this stuff's coming through. Chilies in there, which no signs of life. Beetroots we've got there. And then next to the broad beans, I think they were, I can't remember, I've not my label off, so I'll have to dig that out. We've got some little tomatoes coming through. We've got a chocolate chilli, whatever that is. But it sounds great, growing in that one. And there should be a few more at some point. Then uh, a tray of beetroots. And a tray more beetroots. And then we have some leeks. It's all very exciting, this. And then in that pot there, hopefully at some point, There'll be some peas that'll come up. So at some point over the weekend, I'm more than likely going to um, pot them on and give them a bit more space to breathe and grow and hopefully we'll have some radishes in a few weeks. It's all new, like I say, this is to me. So fingers crossed they won't die and I'll have to watch the frost and make sure that I pot them on and look after them and quite enjoying it really. So that's what's happening with my little tiny vegetable greenhousey patch uh, in Sparrow's Roost. As you can see, Bella is totally obsessed with sniffing everything in sight, um, but she's great. Uh, so that's it. I'm going to catch up with you later. Thanks for watching. See you. Bye.